Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, square ABCD fully inscribed uh, in a circle uh, with the center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, BEF uh, is fully confined uh, within this uh, square such that uh, this segment uh, AE is uh, two units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And here's our action plan. We must uh, calculate the radius uh, of this uh, green circle uh, first. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD. So that means all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. And moreover, we are dealing with this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, BEF. In other words, uh, these uh, side lengths are equal as well. So therefore, we conclude that uh, these uh, triangles, this triangle and this triangle, they are uh, congruent. If this side length is uh, two units, uh, then uh, this side length uh, FC is going to be two units uh, as well. And now let's assume that the side length uh, AB is uh, X uh, units. Then all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be X unit uh, as well since we are dealing with the square. And now we can see that uh, this uh, segment AE is uh, two units. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, ED is going to be X uh, minus uh, two. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, DF uh, is going to be X uh, minus two units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EDF. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, EF uh, as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, x uh, minus 2 whole uh, square. Likewise, uh, plus uh, x minus 2 whole uh, square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and combine these uh, two like terms. So therefore, we are going to have a uh, c square equals to 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 2 whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore, our left hand side becomes uh, c equals to here this square, square root is uh, gone. So therefore, we are ended up with the uh, square root of 2 and then uh, times uh, x uh, minus uh, 2. So therefore, our this uh, EF uh, side length uh, is going to be square root of 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 2. And since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle, if this side length is uh, square root of 2 times uh, x minus 2, then uh, these sides are uh, going to be of same length uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, EAB. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is x. So this become x square plus b is 2 whole square equal to the square of c. c in our case uh, is uh, square root of 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 2 whole uh, square. Let's simplify furthermore. So this is x square plus uh, 4 equal to and here square and square root they undo each other. So we ended up with 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 2 whole uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial on the right hand side. And if we apply this uh, identity on this part, that is going to give us uh, x square minus uh, 4x uh, plus uh, 4, as you can see in this uh, next step. Now let's go ahead and distribute all the way. 
So therefore, we are going to have x square plus 4 equals to 2x square minus 8x plus 8. And now let's go ahead and subtract uh, x square and 4 from both sides. So this is gone, this is gone. So therefore, we are ended up on the right hand side with the x square minus 8x plus 4 equal to 0. And now we can see that we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic uh, formula. And here's the quadratic uh, formula that we will be using. And here our coefficient uh, a equals to 1, b equals to negative 8 and c constant is uh, positive 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic uh, formula. So x is going to be equal to minus and b value is uh, negative 8 plus r minus square root of uh, b in our case is negative 8 whole square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 4 all over 2 times a is 1. And if we simplify everything uh, on the right hand side, we are ended up with uh, x equal to 8 plus minus square root of 48 divided by 2. And now let's focus on this square root of 48. And here I have copied it down. And if we simplify this thing, this is ended up with 4 times the square root of 3. So therefore, I'm going to replace this square root of 48 by this 4 times the square root of 3. So therefore, I can write uh, x uh, equal to 8 uh, and I'm going to split uh, this uh, 2, put on a partial uh, fraction 2 plus uh, r minus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 3 at the numerator divided by 2 as well. And now let's go ahead and reduce uh, these uh, fractions. So therefore, we are ended up with uh, x uh, equal to 4 plus r uh, minus uh, 2 times the square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs. As you can see in this next step, I have put down x with a positive value in between and the other one with a negative sign. And now let's make an observation. If I put this x value for this one, this turns out to be approximately equal to 7.46. And the value of uh, this x is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.54. And now we can see our side length uh, is uh, x minus 2 and side length uh, is always positive. So x uh, must be greater than uh, 2. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this value of x since this is uh, less than uh, 2. And we are going to accept uh, this value since this is uh, larger than uh, 2. So thus our x value turns out to be equal to 4 plus 2 times uh, square root of 3. And now since we are interested in uh, calculating the radius, uh, so therefore I am going to connect uh, this point A and uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next step and this uh, line uh, AC passes through this uh, center O. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AC length uh, is uh, not only the diagonal uh, of this uh, square ABCD, but also this is the diameter of uh, this uh, circle as well. So let's go ahead and calculate the value of this uh, side length uh, AC. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose side lengths are x and x. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. And here we got a square whose side lengths are a across uh, the board. And this a is the diagonal. Then this uh, diagonal is always going to be a times uh, square root of 2. Since we are dealing with x over here, so our this diagonal ac is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore, our this uh, diagonal AC turns out to be x times square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, AO is the radius of this circle. Let me call it uh, lowercase uh, r. And this uh, OC is uh, lowercase r radius as well. 
So therefore, this whole uh, diameter AC is going to be simply 2R and that is going to be equal to this uh, AC length is uh, X times uh, square root of uh, 2. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to isolate this uh, radius R. So therefore, our radius uh, R turns out to be X times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2. And now we can see our x value is this uh, 4 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3. I'm going to substitute uh, over here. So therefore, I can write uh, over here square root of 2 divided by 2 times this uh, x value is uh, 4 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And here, since this 2 is dividing, so this whole uh, thing reduces to 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. As you can see in this uh, next step, we are ended up with the radius square root of 2 times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green circle whose radius uh, we have already figured out. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square where r is the radius. So therefore, the area of this uh, green circle is going to become uh, pi times uh, this whole uh, radius is square root of 2 times uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 whole uh, square. And now we can see that the square of this square root of 2 is going to give us a 2. And over here this is simply is going to become uh, 2 plus uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square. So therefore, I can write this area as uh, 2 pi times uh, this uh, 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 whole uh, square. And now let's focus on uh, this uh, part. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this another famous identity. A plus B whole square could be written as uh, A square plus 2AB plus uh, B square. We are going to apply it uh, on uh, over here. So therefore, the square of this uh, 2 plus square root of 3 turns out to be 7 plus uh, 4 times square root of 3. So I'm going to replace uh, this part uh, by this one. So therefore, the area of this uh, green uh, circle turns out to be 2 pi times uh, 7 plus 4 times uh, square root of 3 square units. So thus here is the area of, of this uh, green uh, circle and that is going to be approximately equal to 87.51 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.